Hey everyone, I'm Jelly. And I'm Tash. And today we're bringing you a totally realistic guide to healing every job in Final Fantasy. 100% accurate. This is a Dragoon. As you can see, they're on the floor. And that's okay. This is their job. If your Dragoon isn't on the floor, then your Dragoon isn't doing their job. This is a Black Mage. These pretty things under them are Ley Lines. When you see a Black Mage stand on these, you're going to ignore the tank and everyone else and heal this Black Mage. Why? Because they won't move from this spot. They aren't supposed to. This is a Summoner. People still play Summoners. This is a Machinist. They're really rare to find because they're not very popular. Their guns look cool though. How do you heal them? I, I don't know. I've never actually seen one in the wild. This is a Paladin and one of your tanks. You heal a Paladin by running behind them and screaming, please stop pulling so much. Chances are they won't listen because it's a fact that all Paladins have tunnel vision. Paladins can heal themselves and others, but just because they can doesn't mean they will. This is a warrior, another tank. You heal them by drinking heavily before the dungeon begins. In a drunken stupor, you're going to cry and smash buttons on the keyboard. They're going to die anyway and blame you. But that's okay because you're too drunk to care. This is a dark knight, and dark knights tend to be known to be a little edgy. Now, dark knights come from the None city of None can stand the power of the dark side. You're not even in the same universe, dude. Shut up. Monks! They're actually pretty cool. They punch things. The only problem is that monks don't stand still. They aren't supposed to. You have to adjust and move around with them. Bonus points if you know every possible positional they have. And now we're at ninjas. As you can see, ninjas think they're Naruto, but ninjas also have really cute bunnies on their head. If you see a ninja with a bunny, you do have to drop everything and heal them. Why? Because the bunny will die if you don't. A samurai, a calculated sword swinger from the far east. They move in slowly on their prey and then swords go shing, shing everywhere. It's so cool. Oh, and they need heals too, I guess. A bard. Now, these guys used to be one of your best friends, but now that their songs have changed for Stormblood, they're not your friend anymore. Since you've broken up, it doesn't matter if you heal the bard or not. They're just going to shoot things anyway. Red mages. Wait, we actually like red mages, don't we? We do. They have actual healing spells, and they can raise too. You heal a red mage before anyone else. The red mage cannot die, ever. They are virtually the best class in the game. Until they flip off the arena. This is a crafter. And you don't have to heal them. You just stare at them. This is a gatherer. You don't heal them either. This gatherer is a happy gatherer. She got everything she wanted. Now this gatherer is a sad gatherer. You just pat them on the shoulder and walk away. This is a fisher. You just don't do fishing. Well, I think our viewers have a great overview of every job and what to do when healing them. One problem. What's that? Our next tank is a warrior. I'll buy the drinks. <laughs> this is what happens when they fail a multi-million kill craft. <laughs> Poor crafters. Yep. Okay, Vipo is coming up in three, two, one! And now if you could do, like, a slash laugh. Lol? Hold on, let me let these ley lines go away. This is perfect, look! <laughs> I can't believe they just- 
just drop ley lines. Like, uh, wait, this is not a black mage, this is a red mage. Yeah. Do you have the Hildebrand flex? Yep. Can you do that? Slash shieldy. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> no man like a man to man to man to man. Oh, you know what? That's perfect. <laughs> that was that was great.